Well, hi people. I've got to show you this. This is a GitHub repo. GitHub is a place where programmers put code and they share it between each other. So this is something that has been shared by the man called Torantolino, a young man. Here's his picture. And he made this code called this program or yeah, application called AutoGPT. And here is the actual files here and quite a few files. And these are the scripts. Okay, right. Now, let's go back. Okay. What does it do? This is an experimental open source application showing the capabilities of GTP4 language model. This is an artificial intelligence that does business for you. It does all business tasks. It makes you give it a bit of money and you tell it what to do. And it goes into the internet and it makes you money. And here is a, a little video of it working. This is what it's doing. Stop it for Describe your AI's role. For example, an AI designed to automatically develop and run businesses with the goal of increasing your net worth. So you have to describe what you, what you want it to do. And this guy wants for uh, chef, chef GPT. So this one is writing, Chef GPT. Designed to browse the web to discover the next upcoming event and invent a unique original recipe that would suit it. So this uh, bot or this AI will go, this Chef GPT will go to the open web and find events where there is a prize offered for the best recipe for a meal. And the AI is going to do that. It's asking you to enter your goals. What do you want the AI to do? And you have to tell it what to do. Goal one, invent an original and out of the box recipe to suit a current event, such as Easter, save the resulting recipe to file, shut down upon achieving your goal. That's it. He gave it three goals. So you tell the AI what to do. And the AI is thinking. So it's thinking, thinking, thinking. And the AI does that. And it keeps on going, looking for uh, web events. Now it went to a website and it's reading the web event. And uh, they found something that offers £3,000 for a prize for the best recipe. And uh, it's summarizing that, what it's doing. And uh, let's see, it's thinking. I would search for April 2023 events. So it's looking for events on in April 2023 to find more relevant specific events. So it's looking again on the internet to find some events. I found something in Auckland, New Zealand. And um, it's browsing a website again. And it found the link, download link. Uh, bearing in mind that I'm not doing anything or the, the program, the, the man, the user of the application is not doing anything. It's just the AI doing all these things by itself. So it could be autonomously, autocode, without any intervention from the user. Chef GPT thoughts. Okay, so it did find um, the event and it's committing it to memory. It's putting it in memory so it can remember it. And it's thinking. And now it's going to generate, I think, the recipe. No, it generated the recipe. That's it. Here's the recipe. Here's what to do. Here's the food. Oh, let's read a little bit. Agent created with key zero. First response. Earth Day quinoa salad ingredients. One cup quinoa. One can black bean. Drained and rinsed. One red bell pepper. So it's uh, showing how to do the recipe. And that's it. Once it's done that, it's finished. As you can see, this is an AI that did all this. Unbelievable. Very soon, we're going to have agents like this. Every single person on the planet will have an agent that is actually going to 